Hey, this is how every camera manufacturer has screwed you, at least your mind anyway. In every camera manual, you'll read the words ISO sensitivity. Well, guess what? Sensitivity and ISO were not connected. ISO is applied gain to a captured. Notice I use the word captured. Captured means past tense. It means the signal has already been captured. ISO is not sensitivity. However, you will read in user's manuals for your DSLR or mirrorless camera, you will often read the words ISO sensitivity. When you increase the ISO on your camera, it does not change the sensitivity at your sensor. It doesn't change the sensitivity anywhere. Right? Yeah. Good exposure is really good signal to noise ratio. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly how that works. ISO is not sensitivity. Here's something else to remember because <clears throat> Pedal Your Pixel has recently posted a couple of articles that are heinously inaccurate. Okay? Larger sensors do not gather more light. No, they don't. Sensors are not like solar panels, nor are they like buckets. You leave a large pool out in the yard during a rainstorm you get two inches of water guess what happens when you leave a little coffee cup out in the same rainstorm you'll also get two inches of water now you're gonna say well that pool has two inches of water but there is more total water in there yeah except exposure has nothing to do with total light or in this case total water in our perfect analogy, larger sensors do not gather more light your camera sensor does not work like a solar panel nor like a kiddie pool, or like a picture window. You know, <clears throat> <coughs> by the way, the uh, most expensive light meters on earth, ah uh, yes, call Sekonic if you don't believe me, I have several light meters. I think I got six light meters. You know what is not on any light meter? <laughs> There's not an adjustment for sensor size. No, there sure the hell is not, kiddies. Oh my God. Yes, that's right. There is no adjustment for sensor size on a professional light meter. Why is that? Because uh, sensor size has nothing to do with exposure. Now you're gonna say, well, larger sensors seem to have better dynamic range. Yes, they do. That is because one of several reasons, the main reason being photo sight size, i.e. pixel pitch. Yeah, bigger eyeballs on bigger sensors. That's not always the case, but it is mostly the case, okay? Exposure is per unit area, not per total area. Okay, let's chant this mantra. Larger sensors don't gather more light. Exposure is per unit area. And ISO is not sensitivity. No, it's not. <laughs> ISO is not sensitivity. No, it's not. No, it's not. How much caffeine have you had? Too much caffeine. ISO is not sensitivity. No, it's not. Exposure is per unit area. Larger sensors don't gather more light. You go, oh, sure they do. Like a picture window lets in more light when you open up the window. Yeah, that's true, except sensors don't work that way. They don't. Okay? Hey, thank you for watching so much. It's good talking to you. Another <clears throat> interesting photo fact. <clears throat> Here's the interesting thing about facts. You're entitled to your own opinions, but you're not entitled to your own set of facts. No, you're not. I'm not. You're not. Nobody is. Oh my God. Isn't it neat how that works? Yes. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.